Hi, I'm Judy, and I'm going to show you how to do a double rebozo with a shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder chest belt. Uh, this is a carry that you can do with many different sizes. You can do a version where you tie in front, you can do one where you tie under the bottom, and you can do a version with a much shorter wrap where you just let the tails hang down. And I'll show you how to do all of those. Regardless of which size of wrap you have, um, you're going to start with the middle marker right here at your chest, and then to figure out where your baby's going to be, follow it around to the middle of your back, and this is where your baby's going to go. Okay, so I laid the wrap on the bed so I can get the baby. So I get the baby, get my spot that I marked, and I just prop my leg up on something so then the baby can sit on my leg. And then you put the wrap with your the centered section where you found, right here in the center of their back, put it over their shoulders, and because he's so small, I'm going to be very careful when I do the Superman. Um, I'm going to bring one hand under and making sure to hold on to the shoulder and the socket, not just yanking up on the arms. And then I'm holding on to it, crossing over with this hand. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have his body weight supported right here on my forearm. So the forearm is going to do most of the work. Oh, I moved your foot, buddy. You ready? Ready to go up? So I use my forearm and I lift him up and just use my arms to gently scoot him over. Put one hand on his bottom, still keeping a hand on his shoulder too. Now I'm going to work on getting the top nice and tight. Get your arm down there. So I get the, the top tight, tuck it here. I want to get a good seat. I like to pull my shirt down, tuck the wrap up at the same time. Okay, now he's in a pretty good seat. Now I'm ready to go ahead and start my passes. So with this carry, the long one comes over the shoulder, and the shorter tail comes underneath. So I'm bringing that under. And now this is an important step. I like to do um, a half knot at the beginning of this carry. It helps to secure it. The short tail comes under, like this. And you go ahead and tie your half knot. And I'm pulling that nice and snug. I tuck that between my legs. Now at this point you want to, when you put this over the next shoulder, you want to flip the rail so what was the top becomes the bottom. With a wrap that has two sides, it's pretty easy to do that. This is the right side. Now I want to make sure I have the wrong side. I'm going to turn it this way. Okay, so I'm turning it this way. One, Eva, dirty. Can you just stand quietly right there while I finish the video, okay? Don't move. Okay, I flipped it over my shoulder. And I'm going to take this hand with the inside rail. Pass it across to my other hand so I can spread it out nicely. And I'm going to pull it tight and tuck up underneath. I'm pulling here, pulling all the slack out, holding it tight with one hand. With the other hand, I take the rest of the tail and I tuck it from the outside in through the chest belt. Oops. Just pull it tight. Same thing here. I'm going to pull the slack from here and pull that down and tight. Now, if you have a short wrap, for example, if I was using a size 3, I would just leave the tails hanging. The other thing you can do is take these tails, bring them around the back, and you can tie a knot here under the bottom. So if I was using a size 4 or 5, I would do that. But I still have a whole lot of tail left over. So I bring it across, cross under his bottom, bring it under his legs, and then I just tie here, tie it off here in the front. Making sure he's situated and comfortable. Now, one thing you sometimes I like to do is I like to spread out these passes here, this knot, so it doesn't get diggy into my chest. So I just pull that out so that there isn't this big wad of fabric here. It's just spread out. And there you have it. A double rebozo with a shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder chest belt with three different finishes. The tail hanging down. You can tie it under the bottom or tie in the front. That's it. Thanks for watching.